Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Thanks for stopping back. It's been a while since I made a video and it's about 30 minutes from sunset with a cloudy sky here in the rainy season. It has rained quite a lot here in Thailand. As far as the carnivore update, one, I still love my ribeyes, but two, we have been eating a lot of fresh, locally caught, I think, shrimp that we get from the local markets on Friday. They've got a Friday market here, and Noi is buying five kilograms, which is over 10 pounds, uh, worth of shrimp every week. So it seems like I've settled into a little, little bit of a rut here. I usually try to eat ribeyes around noon. And then at night, I've been taking those middle chicken wings, the little ones I like, nothing really on them just take them thaw them out put them in the air fryer and crisp them up a little bit on the outside along with approximately 15 medium-sized shrimp and the 15 shrimp i end up using a combination of mustard which has no ca no calories and no sugars and pretty good for you along with some horseradish that i put in the mustard for spicing it up uh, on my steaks we bought this uh collagen smoke liquid flavoring that we put on the steaks before we sear them and uh, along with a lot of salt. And I'll tell you, they've been awful good lately. We've been sous vide in them for 48 hours at 57.4 degrees Celsius. And people would say, well, that's overkill. But I'll tell you what, I can cut Sometimes I can cut the ribeye, these two inch thick ribeyes, I can literally take my fork and cut it. It's so tender. And uh, now remember, we're cooking them in vacuum sealed bags so all the juices stay in and then we freeze them after the 48 hours and then we take them out of the freezer and we thaw them usually in the sous vide turned off just put them in the cold water and that thaws them real quick and then she sears them and uh you know i like the ribeyes but i don't like ended up with with meat that's uh, a difficulty to chew now i've got good teeth but uh your jaw can get sore on this diet but it seems like I've tried to move the ribeyes towards the front of the day. And then at night, the shrimp and the chicken wings are a little bit on the lighter side of things to eat. Now today, we switched it around because Noi got this grilled herb chicken fresh from the Friday market pre-cooked so we had that and some ham for lunch so yeah noi officially unfortunately has fallen totally off the carnivore wagon and i can't say that i blame her she was sick every at least every other day 
her blood sugar would drop so low that she would have to go and supplement it with, with carbohydrates and sugars. And I mean, drop into the 40s. And it was just like she was, when it drops that low, it's, it's almost like you're slipping into twilight sleep coma. It's really your mental, your mental capabilities seem to disappear. Uh, you walk with a unsteadiness, like you're half dizzy. I always worried about her falling uh, when she got in that condition. So she'd eat carbohydrates with every meal. And then pretty soon it was more carbohydrates and now it's more carbohydrates. And it, it's less and less uh, carnivore minus the carbohydrates. But, you know, the reason I'm doing this, these videos is to let some people know that you just, me, I've adapted to it fairly well. Uh, I really have, but her, you know, she stuck it out for a month and a half, maybe two months, uh, trying, but first it was a potassium deficiency that got her. Then we started supplementing the potassium with potassium pills. And then she started eating avocados and and bananas and and then it was the low blood sugar that got her and she wasn't faking it and so she went off carnivore and she is gaining weight there's no doubt about it she's putting on the weight that the carnivore naturally took off very disappointing for me but healthy is where it's at and if you aren't what you are you gotta figure she grew up very very poor and over here rice and sweet potatoes and regular potatoes and taro and uh that is a staple where she grew up with the money she grew up with and the household she grew up with, I would imagine even chicken was a rarity. Maybe one of those once a week treats. You know, you just don't have it that often. So her body, just like they say in carnivore you need to get fat adjusted her body was carbohydrate adjusted now did it contribute to weight gain probably okay i'm no skinny chicken either so just to let you know going carnivore can have its side effects and downsides as much as anything else so, with this, I'll leave you with one thought of wisdom. Spend every day trying to learn as if you're going to live forever. And live like it's your last day on earth. Learn as if you'll live forever and live as if you're gonna die tomorrow. With that, have a good carnivore time. And that's the end.